Two weeks, do you think? Uh, more likely four. I'll make it as fast as I can. I want to get back before His Majesty changes his mind. I could meet you in Singapore if you don't get the money. Oh, I've got to get it. If the bank won't give it to me, I'll try Carter Perkins. Carter Perkins? Uh, an old skinflint I know about in Singapore. He goes for deals like this where the chances look good enough. Uh, you want my socks. I think I should go with you. Uh, do you want to? I think I should. I have a feeling. <laughs> You're staying. Very little riding and a lot of walking where I'm going. Come in. Oh, Mr. Larson, ready to leave? Yes, Your Highness. And hey, Mrs. Larson, are you staying with us? Well, if you don't mind. My wives and I were devastated at the thought of losing our fourth at bridge. She'll be safe and comfortable here with us. Well, I'm on my way then. Good luck, Mr. Larson, for both of us. Goodbye. The poor man. Does he really believe he's found gold in my jungle? He's honest. He had to tell you. I'm honest, too. Will you leave him if he doesn't have money? I don't like this, Your Majesty. I merely ask a question. If it offends, you don't have to answer it. You don't give up, do you? No, the question doesn't offend. It's just meaningless. Money has nothing to do with my marriage. Well, that's because he's always had money. Up to now. You know, it's not too late for me to go with him. I promise to behave. Nancy and I are riding over to the teak mills this afternoon. Like to go with us? I'd like to. Nancy doesn't have to go. I'd like to if Nancy goes. At three, then. We've got to start sometime. Maybe we should have sent a mongoose in here first. This isn't a natural habitat for cobras. I never saw one. <laughs> hey! Look at this. Old Connor Perkins used to dazzle me with this when I was a kid. <laughs> Mr. Kelly? May I brighten your day? Yes, by getting busy on this dump. Dump? Why, this is the garden spot of Malaya. Psh. Oh, I see you have no place to put them. Looking for Carter Perkins. Are you a relative? In which case you'd know if you saw him. In which case you'd inherit this job and be just in time to pay his funeral expenses. Is Carter Perkins dead? Dead. And his ashes on the way back to the States. That's bad news. We inherited the job of cleaning up this mess. You sure you're not one of his heirs? Are you going to continue the business? Carter Perkins was the business, whatever it was. We're just a couple of old friends who were with him in the hospital when he died. He asked us to take care of this. Well, I didn't know him. I, I wanted to see him on business. I wanted to borrow $25,000. With $25,000, I could have made us both very rich. How, for instance? Well, you don't look like you'd have that kind of money. Well, some days we do, and some days we don't. Now, this happens to be one of those days that we do. We're going to buy a boat. Well, come in with me, and you can buy a yacht. All we want is a fishing boat. Well, it won't hurt to listen. I'm Eric Larson. No, Tim Kelly. My partner, Tubo Smith. Well, I came out here from Texas to drill a prospect well for the Sultan of Dor. Old Snake Face? What? <laughs> My partner called the Sultan Old Snake Face. It's quite appropriate, too. 
Well, go on, Mr. Larson. Did you find oil? Uh, he's cracked on the subject. There's no oil in there. Others have found that out, too. Old Snakey just won't give up. Admit he inherited the wrong kingdom. Did you lose your shirt, too? Yes, I lost all my money in that duster. He put up the land and you put down the well, huh? Tubo, we're going to buy that boat. I didn't find oil. I found gold. Yeah, it looks like gold. Feels like gold. But I'm no metallurgist. It is gold. Where'd you get it? For $25,000 and an 8% royalty, I can get a lease on 1,000 acres of the land that came from. The Sultan would give you that? I have his word. Does he know the gold's there? Well, he knows I think there's gold there. I didn't actually show him this. He wants oil. The leases are all drawn. All I need is the money. Tubo, what do you think? Mr. Larson, would you care for a cigarette? Well, yes, thanks. Shh. I'll have one. Lit? Yeah. Shh. You know, old Carter Perkins taught me that when I was 17. I bet old Carter could reach up there now and get the money. All I ever get is cigarettes. Well, this is no trick, Mr. Smith. What'd you expect? The old man would have handed you $25,000 just because you asked for it. You mean I'll have to show you where I got it? You'd have had to trust the old man. He trusted us to handle this. That's about all the references you're going to get. And I'm sure you've tried all the banks. All right, I'll show it to you. But after we've looked at the mine, I'd like to go on to Deor and pick up my wife before we return here. You mean you brought your wife out here from Texas with her? Well, yes. You mean she's staying in Deor? At the palace. Is your wife pretty, Mr. Larson? I beg your pardon. My partner asked, is your wife pretty? Well, yes, she's very pretty, and I don't mind saying so. And young? Well, yes, what are you getting at? Not faded by the tropics? I don't see any sense to these questions. Man, if you saw any sense to these questions, you wouldn't be looking for help in Singapore. You know, I think this stuff can wait for a few days. Larson, we're going to take a look at your diggings. You won't be disappointed. drilling a well. Is this your place? My headquarters in the field. How much further do you... Oh, Tang was with me when I found the gold. He knows about it. No further, gentlemen. You're standing in the middle of my strike. These bricks. Now, that's the way I like my gold bricks. All stacked up nice. It's Pete. Well, the natives have another name for it. But it's like Pete. Burns like Pete. They cut it in the swamps, use it for fuel. You mean to tell me that you found gold in this mud? Yes. Come inside, I'll show you. Keep those burning tips. Now, this is the way I first found this stuff. Just out of curiosity, after I didn't find oil, I was examining the ashes from the fire. Maybe a gold ornament fell into one of the bricks. Well, the Sultan dropped the filling. No, no. I had Tang's boys cut me bricks from wide sections, a hundred yards apart. Find gold in all of them? Well, not all, but most of them. Just tiny particles. But how could you mine gold any easier or cheaper? All you have to do is burn the stuff. 
There. You got yourself some partners, Mr. Larson. Good. Partner, at least. Well, what do you mean? Half our money is Tubo's. If he says he's in, you can count on it. Good luck. What? Well, you still don't believe it, even though it's right there? Well, I believe that that's gold and it came out of those ashes, but before I put my money in, I want to take my own samples from your peat beds. <laughs> you think I solid these bricks? It's my money you're asking for, Mr. Larson. Uh, you're right, I'm sorry. Uh, you, you pick your spots. I'll have Tang's boys bring in the samples. Do go now, bring them in in a couple of days. You want to go by yourselves? You've got the lease. We'll be back. Well, all right. I'll have to trust you. That's right. If you can't trust your partner, who can you trust? monkey's big toe. Not a speck. Samples from ten different sections and not a speck, partner. I still wish I knew how he did it. Where'd you get that? Huh? Oh, this? Well, I figured old Carter wanted me to have something to remember him by. You say you don't like it? It bothers you? <laughs> Would you like to see it come back? <laughs> Okay. Your lad will need a cane by the time we get back with these gold brick samples. I remember one trick old Carter used to do. Boy, knock your eye out. If I only had a snake. I bet if I looked around, I could find one. Next time you want to do that trick for me, pick a smaller snake. You think that was a trick? <laughs> oh. You know, that's a pretty good idea at that. What is? That trick. <laughs> what are you looking for? Well, snakes generally travel in pairs. You think they're a pair? <laughs> what are you doing, saving snakes? Let's get back with these samples. Why lug them all the way back? He knows there's no gold in them. Why prove something he already knows? Come on, March. Just bad luck. My bad luck. I don't say there's gold in every inch of that swamp. We covered an awful lot of inches. But if you picture samples from all sections, there will be gold. There's got to be. I'm sorry. We're heading back tomorrow. Even if we find color in the samples that you brought back? You won't. Scrape some of those ashes off, Tang. OK. 
Kelly, I'm not trying to play tricks. You want to look at the shovel? I did. There it is. Your samples, Kelly. If you'd have burned all your samples, you would have found the gold. Not if I burned every peat bed in the jungle. Would I, Tang? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Neither does Tang. Tang understands. Tang is a maker of magic. <laughs> I should have known. You know, my partner's a maker of magic too, Tang. From such things as thin air and a tin can, he can produce many wonders. Let me see that staff, Tang. Let him have it. Not much of a gold mine, Larson. Wax and gold particles in the hollow end. So the melted and ran out when Tang poked those burning bricks. I didn't know it wasn't my idea. Well, maybe Tang can tell us whose idea it was. No fear of the blade, eh, Tang? But magic now. You know, my partner has a cane as cute as yours. And with it, he can summon your master here. In person. Why, it is the Sultan. <gasps> Was it the Sultan? Quick, or you'll join him as a snake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, old Carter couldn't have done it any better himself. It was very simple. All he needed is a snake that looks like the Sultan. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he do this to me? For $25,000 as a starter, you don't know how broke the Sultan is. And of course, there's always... Why don't you uh, come back to Singapore with us and send for your wife from there? No. I have a few words to say to His Majesty. You're playing on his home ground. You know, I don't think you're supposed to come back without the money. I'm going after my wife. Well, it's your neck. Your widow. He wouldn't dare kill me. I'll probably see you in Singapore sometime. Not too late to change your mind. No. No sign of Tang? I expect he's on his way to report. A walk wide of tree trunks big enough to hide a man. Sorry all the trouble I caused you. Sure. He's been out here drilling for oil long enough. He knows what he's doing. And he's old enough to take care of himself. That ain't it. Well, let's go. Wait a minute. There's something else in your craw. You're not that anxious to get back to Singapore, start cleaning out old Carter's rat's nest. You still think Larson and the Sultan are in this together? He wasn't afraid to go back.
Two more. You shouldn't have let him go. Well, we didn't have any business in Doha, and he wouldn't come to Singapore with us. We can't play nursemaid to every tenderfoot in the jungle. at breakfast this morning. I didn't feel quite up to it. Something must have happened to him. He's been gone too long. I didn't want to alarm you. It has been too long. We should have heard from him. Oh, don't just make me stay here and wait. That's all you can do. But I can do more. I'm sending men into the jungle and to Singapore. They'll travel fast and we'll hear from him. Oh, thank you. We shouldn't have waited this long. I have a feeling. There'll be some simple explanation. Men lose track of time in the jungle. Why don't you change and we'll go for a ride? Or a swim? Wait. I want you to stay here in your room. What is it? What's happened? Some natives are arriving. With news of Eric? With Eric. Eric... did? Yes. <laughs> well, you'd better sit down. I'll send Nancy up to you. I want to go meet the bears. I want to go too. There'll be plenty of time for you to see him later. You stay here. Tim Kelly, Your Highness, and my partner, Tubo Smith. My memory is not that bad, gentlemen. Thank you for bringing his body back to the palace. I thought you'd want him back here. Who is that? Were you expecting someone else, Highness? No, Mr. Smith. I thought you'd want to give your man a decent burial. He is not my man. Except in the manner that all subjects of Dur are my men. Seem a little surprised seeing this one. Well, the messenger said that Mr. Larson was arriving. I had a moment of apprehension. Larson arrived too. As you can see, Your Highness, I didn't get the money and you didn't get me. Wasn't this your servant, Mr. Larson? I don't know. Was he mine or was he yours? For the record, he was yours. If he attacked you, as he obviously did, you did right in killing him. You'd never prove anything, Larson. You're talking to the keeper of the records. I know. I just want him to know that I know. I'm broke. A year wasted. What have I got to show for my trouble? Well, for one thing... I think the Sultan was about to put it even better, Tubo. Oh? And he should know. My dear Mr. Larson, as long as you have the unproving love of a beautiful woman, you should not complain of your petty fate. 